Let me tell you a little story about a man named Franklin Pierce. Born in a log cabin in New Hampshire on November 23, 1804, he would become the first president in history to affirm his oath of office on a law book rather than a Bible. As the son of a politician and governor, Franklin seemed destined for the political life. In 1826, he entered law school and eventually became a very successful lawyer. At the age of 27, he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, becoming the youngest congressman at the time. He also served in the Senate. A likable man, he was nominated for governor of New Hampshire and U.S. Attorney General, but refused both. At 30 years old, he married Jane Means Appleton and together had three children. Sadly, all three died young. In 1852, Franklin Pierce was elected as the nation's 14th president. He became the only president to deliver an inaugural speech from memory and only president in history to have his original cabinet serve an entire term. A month after his inauguration, his vice president, William King, died, leaving him without a VP for four years. Twelve years later, on October 8, 1869, President Franklin Pierce died of liver disease at the age of 64. And there you go, a little story about a man named Franklin.